There's been some recent construction at Dominion's Roanoke Rapids Power Station as a result of our FERC relicensing. Ladders have been added, and they're not your normal ladders. Eel ladders have been added to the dam. The eels, which spawn in the Atlantic Ocean and return to fresh water to mature, are now finding it easier to reach their historic habitat in the Roanoke River Basin. In 2008, we examined six different options for providing upstream passage of American eels, and we decided that the um, facilities that we, we built, one on each end of the dam, provided access for all the eels and were also had a very high probability of success. Because the eel ladders had to be fitted into the dam's existing structure without interfering with operations, the north and south ladders are quite different in design. Uh, the ladders are basically uh, made out of steel and aluminum. And uh, the, the ladder on the south side is, uh, is only about 26 feet tall. It goes up to a point where we can capture. Uh, the, the dam is about 90 feet tall uh, down at the north end. And so there's no good place to capture the eels at, at a low level. So we ran that all the way to the top. So the ladder itself is about 105 feet long. We take uh, water from the lake, we siphon it, and we send it down to the bottom. And that siphon provides what we call attraction water. And that attracts the eels want to move upstream. So they sense that current. They come to the eel ladder. And so the eels use those little posts, those little pieces of PVC, to actually, as, as friction, to push off and to climb to the top. The eels climb the ladders, generally at night, and end up in a holding tank that is filled with lake water. The eels are removed from the holding tanks, some are tagged, and then all are transported for release to either Roanoke Rapids Lake or Deep Creek, a tributary of the lake. Well, we've seen a lot more eels than we ever expected. We started uh, trapping the eels, or started the, the eelways up in March of this year. And once the water temperatures hit about 10 C, we started to see um, 70, 100, then thousands of eels. Uh, most recently, in, in late April, we had a run of 75,000 eels um, in one weekend. The construction of the ladders came about as a result of Dominion's relicensing agreement and is the first step in a multi-phase process involving both the Roanoke Rapids and Lake Gaston dams. Right now what we're doing is we're just bringing the eels up into the drainage of Roanoke Rapids Lake. Initially, we have a phased approach where we'll be sampling below Gaston Dam to see how many of the eels start to show up and bump their noses, so to speak, against Gaston Dam. And at that point, we'll be discussing with the agencies the appropriate time to design and build an eel way for Gaston Dam. If you're going to spend this kind of resource in putting that type of uh, mechanism in and you see success, then it's something you need to be proud of.